Hello, everyone. Once again, thank you so much for our time. Today, I'd like to continue on our discussion on EMC consideration. Our topic for today's discussion is on shielding effectiveness. Hey, today, I'm going to share with you the three factors that will be affecting the shielding effectiveness. Number one factor will be absorption. Number two, reflection. And number three, multiple reflection. So today, I will define what are all these three before we continue to have an in-depth discussion about absorption, reflection, and multiple reflection. Today's video will be the part 21 series discussion. The early on discussion on EMC, I have put the video link under the description. So please go through the video if you're keen to know more about EMC. This is my email. If you have any question regards on today's discussion, please drop me an email. Before I continue, I'd like to urge you guys to help this channel by pressing the like and subscribe button. We need your support in order to improve the overall service of this channel. Guys, technical people should support technical people, right? So please help me by supporting this channel. Thank you so much, guy. What is shielding effectiveness? Okay, so shielding effectiveness is a continuous sheet of conducting material. Okay, imagine that is a big piece of conductive material. Okay, the shielding effectiveness can be estimated by the three term formula, okay, which I have mentioned earlier on. Okay, it includes the two principal mechanisms that reduce the field intensity. Okay, so absorption and reflection is the two principal mechanisms, okay, which we will study further later on. And number three is actually the multiple reflection which is quite similar with reflection. And again, later on, I'm going to explain to you the difference between reflection and multiple reflection. Okay, so this is the overall shielding effectiveness equation. Okay, so this is S, which is denoted as shielding effectiveness. From this equation, you can see that it actually depends on three factors, absorption, reflection, and multiple reflection. A and R, they are positive number, but for B, is actually a negative number, which imply that multiple reflection actually cause a degradation of shielding effectiveness, which means that with B, my shielding effectiveness actually decrease. Okay, so later on, I'm going to show you some of the example. Okay, to calculate the shielding effectiveness, okay, we need to know the A, R, and B. Okay, so for a start, let's concentrate on absorption. Okay, the absorption loss, A, okay, is actually express the energy dissipate that occurs when a field propagate through a conductor. As the field propagate through the shield of thickness T, okay, normally in CM, okay, it is attenuated exponentially. Okay, so these are the two formula to calculate on absorption. Okay, but for now, we are not going to discuss so much on the equation. Okay, later on, I'm going to explain to you on the equation and also some example how to calculate the absorption. Okay, but for now, let's understand what is absorption. Okay, for example, this is an electromagnetic wave that hit the shoe. Okay, and then some of the electromagnetic wave will be able to penetrate through the shoe. Okay, which we call absorption. And in result, a small fraction of electromagnetic wave will be able to successfully penetrate through the shield. Okay, so this is the definition of absorption. Next, I'm going to cover what is refraction. Okay, a shield also impedes an electromagnetic wave by refraction loss. Okay, so these are the three formula. In general, under the near field, we classify them either the electric field or magnetic field. And this is the reflection loss under electric field source. 
and also this is the formula that is categorized for magnetic field source and also we have another condition which is far field again this is the formula to calculate the refraction loss for far field again for today task we are not going to use this formula as mentioned later on i will explain how we actually can utilize this formula to calculate the refraction loss Okay, but for today's mission, let's understand what is refraction. An electromagnetic wave hit the shoe. And what happened here is basically some of the energy or most of the energy, if this is a conductive material, will be refracted back. Okay, so this is classified under refraction. Last but not least, let's move on to multiple refraction. Okay, remember I told you that this multiple refraction is actually cause a degrade on shielding effectiveness. So what is multi-refraction? Okay, when the absorption loss are small, the energy reflect back into the shield at the second boundary cannot be ignored. This is true in the case of thin shield. As a result, we need to consider the effect of multiple refraction for magnetic field. Okay, so later on you see that under magnetic field, okay, we actually can have multiple refraction. Okay, the term B in the shielding effectiveness equation account for the refraction. B is always negative, which means that they actually cause a degradation. So let's take a look what is multiple refraction. Again, this is an electromagnetic wave that hit a shoe. Okay, absorption actually occur. Okay, and then they enter the second boundary. Okay, because this is a conductive material, the electromagnetic wave may reflect back to the first boundary. And in the end, it may also reflect back as shown over here. And then some of the electromagnetic wave actually leak from the shoe. Okay, you can imagine that they can have multiple refraction as shown over here. And you can see that because of the multiple refraction, certain factor of the electromagnetic wave actually managed to penetrate through the shoe. Okay, so this is what we call multiple refraction. Okay, so later on, I'm going to show you the, some calculation, some example, how we can actually obtain the absorption, reflection, and multiple reflection. With this, I'd like to end the discussion. Please help to like and subscribe. Thank you so much, guys.